MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Matthew, we're on your stand at TCT 2015. Can you tell me a little bit what you're showing here? Yes, we've got our AM250 machine, which is a additive machine capable of producing fully dense metal parts in materials such as aluminium, uh, stainless steel, uh, titanium, and tool steels. And, and what type of industries are you aiming for to potentially sell the machine to? It, it's more about the where, where the product itself can really give massive benefits in terms of the next generation of products. So typical designs of manifolds such as this, or product that give a next generation leap in terms of functionality. Because we're trying to talk to people that are not looking to produce parts for the sake of just making it additively. Where the processes really give the benefit is by giving products that have the functionality that can be produced no other way. So with the type of machines that you've got, I'm learning a lot about this industry. It's all about technology. C certainly the technology has come on leaps and bounds. And if you were to look at what's achievable today, you would say it's an order of magnitude different to where it was five years ago. And it's fair to say that certainly the next five, 10 years are going to be an extraordinary leap from where we are today in terms of well, not just what the machines are capable of, but for us, it's more, it's certainly at the moment, it's more about the education of what the technology is able to bring to the designer of the product. So would that mean we'll see uh, more machines coming from Renishaw in the future? Certainly more machines and building upon our proud heritage of the quality of design and having machines that are fit for purpose so that the manufacturers of the product have the confidence of producing series components for serious manufacturers. Well, I must admit, uh, seeing you stand this morning on the first day of TCT, quite a few people coming to see you, which is good news. It's, it's been a fantastic show so far. I think everybody on the stand has been talking non-stop for the last, it, we're only three hours in, and we haven't, we haven't stopped. It's been fantastic. Matthew, looking at this bike here, tell me a little bit more of how you've produced this or helped to produce it. This was a collaborative project with Empire Cycles. Uh, they approached us and they wanted to just find out if additive manufacturing could add any benefit to the process. Uh, as it turns out, it's been a phenomenal success, not just for Empire, but the additive industry as a whole. And how long did that take to actually produce, or the frame take to produce? The whole frame is built on one build plate, and that's about a two-day process uh, in titanium. And people are quite interested to, to learn that the, the whole process of building a whole bike frame on a machine that's smaller than the frame itself is possible by some quite ingenious uh, bonding methods. So one thing I've noticed is a lot of people are actually coming around actually lifting the bike up. Do you think they're cyclists or just keen to know? The good thing about engineers is there are an awful lot of engineers that are cyclists. So it's a good way for us to actually capture the imagination of those engineers because the whole frame itself, Renishaw and the Empire Cycles, are in the, world, the Guinness World Book of Records for producing the first ever titanium additively manufactured bike frame. So quite an expensive bike in front of us then? Uh, certainly I couldn't afford it at the moment, no. Matty, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.